welcome to my channel Cassie's Kitchen. Today is Friday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's boogie. So uh, today I thought to show you a recipe of mine and I dreamt this recipe when I was sleeping because you know you get your best ideas whilst you're having a sleep. So I will be making a red grape and strawberry jam with a twist. The twist is I'll be using lime juice to, um, you know, mix all that uh, fruit in. So let's get to it. So let me show you the ingredients to my lovely red grape and strawberry gel. I have squeezed two limes. Um, I measured 700 grams of granulated sugar. Uh, this is a kilograms of uh, strawberries, £3.49 guys in littles. They are big on summer. And so am I, because I love strawberries. And uh, 1.2 kilograms of red grapes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add everything to the blender and we're going to blend it all up. Because if kids are going to have this um, jam, you don't want them to choke. So I'm going to get to it and I'll show you the steps. Stay tuned. So before you start making a jam, I've got two tips for you. First tip, make sure you sterilize your jam jars uh, two hours or three hours before and then let them dry thoroughly so you can put your jam in when it's cooked. Step two, you want to put a saucer in the freezer because you can either, you can use this to make sure your jam sets before you put it into the jars. And if you've got a thermometer ready, I bought a new one, guys, you can um, check the panel. You're probably thinking, Cassie, why did you buy a new jam thermometer? Well, I'll tell you guys. The one I had before um, was amazing. But uh, when I'm cooking the jam on high heat uh, for it to cook, it kind of um, gets very annoying because the jam's like popping out and then it really hurts. And you think, oh my God, dangerous, dangerous so uh that's one of the reasons why and two um i um gave myself a burn on my finger my left finger uh whilst i was cleaning the other one because the jam was too hot so the new one um is safer to use so let's get cooking step one of making your jam is to uh put your strawberries and your red grapes into the blender and grind it on number two, which is the highest speed. You might have to repeat this several times because we have so much um, berries and red grapes. So let's get to it. And you want to blend this with no water in guys, because you want it to come um, a puree. To show you how the puree is coming along so far this is the first batch it looks like this so what you want to do you want to get your pot and you want to tip it in like I said you need to repeat the process guys I'll be right back so I actually made three batches of um, strawberry and red grape blended with my blender Thank you, Russell Hobbs. So now, what we want to do, we want to turn our gas on to medium heat, about there, and we want to cool, and we want to cook the jam um, until it boils. What we want to do at this stage is this, we want to add our 700 grams of sugar in, We also want to add our lime juice. That's the twist. So what we want to do, grab our wooden spoon and mix this in. My jam thermometer reads 100 degrees, which is really great. We need to bring our jam to 104 degrees. So I've left the thermometer um, into the pot of jam it's bubbling which is great it's on medium heat still 
which is really good. And my kitchen smells absolutely divine. I've got this lovely aroma of strawberry and red grape and the lime juice. Oh, just sits in perfectly. I could smell it all, guys. It's literally the best. So I would recommend you could do this at home. Quarantine and lockdown cooking is amazing. The jam is now becoming um, darker in colour, like a rouge red, which I love. Uh, my thermometer reads 102 degrees, which is very consistent. It's not going down to 97, 101, 99, 100 anymore. So we just need to turn this up to the highest point with our gas cooker here. That way, it will get it to 104 degrees. Don't worry if you have any um, jam scum on top, because if you just get your wooden spoon, you can keep twisting the jam as long as you keep cooking it, which is great. And what we want to do with this jam is we want to make sure it gets thick in consistency. So when you spread it on bread or a baguette or a croissant, you're like, ooh, nice perfect jam the jam got to 104 guys so it's done so we're going to use the saucer method now to check that it's done so I'm going to turn off the heat for this because I've got it to 104 what you want to do grab your saucer out of the freezer then you want to put it on the side get a wooden spoon of jam Put it on a saucer, then you want to do this. If the jam moves and sticks, you know it's thick enough to be ready. Perfect. Then you can run your finger through it and check. If it's fine, you know your jam can go into the jars now. I'm letting the jam cool for two minutes before I pour it into the jars. I can't wait for you to see the final result, guys. Can't wait. This is the jam, guys, all done. I am so happy. Um, I bought my own labels on Amazon with these jars specifically here. Um, my um, ambition and dream is to make jam regularly and donate the proceedings to charity. So I'll be selling these for £2.50. So I am so happy. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice um, weekend, guys. Bye.